Algolia allows you to easily add search to your application. If you have to add all of the results manually, this can take a lot of time. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can automate the process by building a script to automatically add results to your Algolia search every time you build your Next.js application. The first thing you're going to want to do is create a file named buildalgoliasearch.js. We're going to want to add that into your scripts or lib folder. The first thing we need to do is require what we need. We'll need .env to work with our environment variables, fs and path to work with our folder structure, gray matter to parse our content, and Algolia search to actually send our results via the API. Instead of a try-catch loop, let's try to initialize our .env. If that fails, let's go ahead and throw an error because we cannot have this script be able to run without any environment variables. Below that, we'll get a path to our content. Now, I am storing all of the content inside of a folder called data. This might be slightly different for you. Go ahead and query the content using fs. Below that, we'll create a function that gets all of our posts. We'll simply take the content file paths and map over it, grabbing the source, content, and data from each one and returning that. Note in that return statement, we are returning the content, the data, and the file path. Now we need to transform this to something Algolia can read. Let's go ahead and map over each of our posts and return an object. Now inside of these braces, we can put whatever we want. Let's give it an object ID, set that to the title. We'll then give it a title, we'll give it the description, we'll give it the slug, and we'll give it a tax collection. And as you can see, Algolia does let you nest data. And finally, we'll add the date. Again, all of this data is unique. To my case, you might have more or less. Finally, return all of that transformed data. Let's go ahead and now create an async function. Now this function will run whenever we call this script. First, go ahead and initialize the environment variables using .env.config. Now inside of a try catch loop, we can use the helper functions we just created to grab the data and send it to Algolia. First, grab all the blog posts and store them in their own variable. We can grab these using await get blog posts, which is the method we created. Next, declare a variable transformed. Here, let's call the transform method that we created, passing in our blog posts. Now that is the data that we're going to send to Algolia. Before we can do that though, we need to initialize the client with our environment variables. Finally, initialize our Algolia index. And now we can invoke the save objects function, passing in our transformed variable. Now you can go ahead and run that script and you should see the results in your console. Now the final step is to make this script run every time you build your application so we can send fresh up-to-date search data to Algolia each time. To do this, go ahead and open up package.json. Now inside of scripts, add the post build. And just like you would call it in the terminal, we can add that same line here, node and then the path to your script. Now if you already have stuff in here, not to worry. We can run as many things as we want in here. All we need to do is concatenate them using an and sign or two and signs. Now if you use two and signs, you're going to run them one after another. If you use the and sign, just one, you will run them in parallel. That's it for this episode of Automate Everything. If you enjoyed, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this.